Hello and welcome everyone to this next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning about what is the right way of writing an AMDP scenario. So we observed in the last three videos, creating our scenario, creating using ABAP, and then simply replicating scenario using SQL script. By far we've observed, it doesn't help you to just replicate your ABAP code in AMDP if it's not done in the right way, the performance of AMDP is even worse than the performance of what you're doing in ABAP today. So in this episode, we'll look at how can you best leverage the AMDP to avoid the looping scenarios and get the performance boosters as you need. So let's look at once again quickly our use case. Our use case is what we are doing is right now we have list of business partners with us in, a, in form of a table. So we have all the business partners in a table form. And what we want to do is corresponding to this business partner, we want to read all the sales orders. For this, what we did is in AMDP, we started a loop. And for this loop, we are reading sales orders per business partner at a time. And then each time it fetches, we are just appending by creating a final union result, which is what hampered our performance. So now to improve this, I will show you the uses of HANA function. So SAP HANA provides something called a map merge function, which is what is going to give you the boost of performance. So right now, when you see this is the logic where you run it in a loop and call this guy, what it does, it, it, it does it all one by one. So first BP gets the sales order, second BP gets the sales order, third BP gets the sales order. So like that system keeps getting the sales order one after another. Now, what I wanted to typically do is, I would like to go back and show you how can we parallelize this operation. So what HANA does now with map merge, if you, for example, have multiple business partners in the system, then it's going to take all the business partners and it's really going to run everything in parallel. Yes, that's how exactly it's going to execute. So if, it, if you, let's say six business partner, it's gonna get all the six business partners related sales orders together in parallel. Remember the parallel processing? And then at the end, it's gonna just merge this result at the end to return it to ABAP system. Now this really boosts up your performance using the function. So if you have a scenario where you wanted to do four all entries in ABAP and it's, it's affecting your performance, you can switch over to this kind of a scenario and do a map merge. Let's get in, in action into the system. So you can see last time it was 254 millisecond of performance with normal dirty AMDP. But now I will go back to our class and I'm gonna create an, another, uh, another AMDP. So, Let's go ahead and do that to our class. Let's create another EMDP. So now I will just make a copy of my existing EMDP. Just to copy the skeleton. And we can call it as amazing, yeah? Because this is gonna be amazing. So now I come down and also copy the code which we did here for this dirty EMDP. And just... It didn't copy properly. Just have to copy the below part as well. And watch out, in a minute when I do it, it's even going to look simple as compared to the last time. So let's use the name. Here, as amazing. And now watch out how to do this map merge. So first you got your internal table and we were doing all this bye-bye to -bye, all this logic, you don't need that. And we simply say, my output is my ET sales order is equals to map merge. What do you want to merge? I want to pass my internal table of business partners as an input. And what it does, it, it should now convert everything. So let's use this name, copy that, paste it over here. That's what I want to call. And in every call, please pass the node key of my business partner. Yeah. 
that's all we are done that's all guys look at the code how simple it has become no need of looping and all no need of doing all that stuff bye bye to declaring these extra variables code looks simple and it's extremely powerful because it's going to do complete thing complete processing truly in parallel yeah now let's go back to a robop report and instead of this dirty calling i'd say amazing and let me just save and activate so you just saw that there was a radical change in terms of our program code it looks more clean and neat it looks simple it's easy to use it's easy to adopt this program with map merge and it's truly powerful because behind the scenes it's going to use the power of sap hana with parallel processing so now we'll go back and hit the execute button execute and it gets me the result and wow look at the time it has taken to process this one is just 19 milliseconds so i'll just copy that and put comparatively for all the three options so now amdp with map merge so just by writing an amdp is not going to help you that's the moral of the story in these episodes of videos you can see so many of you who have complained that my, i just put my, put my code in amdp but it doesn't improve my performance or i just use cds in my company performance of cds is not good the reason could be how are you using these concepts are you using them in the right way are you following the guidelines the guidelines which are in there are you using it in the in the correct manner because using in incorrectly something uh, is is not going to help you just because you're using it yeah so if you want to learn more of these things you can subscribe my abop on hana comes for hana training starting next week and that way you will you will be learning everything end to end i i know you are maybe an abop or bw developer i have no clue about what i did in these videos but that's absolutely fine somewhere you got got to get started yeah somewhere someday you had started and it is the time that someday somewhere you will start with these new concepts i will make sure that all of you understand this in my training from scratch so subscribe my training on anubotrainings.com or drop us an email on contact at anubotrainings.com where you can get through all these concepts more in detail and nicely you can you can be an expert on s4 that way so you see the kind of improvement we have got here as compared to my even first aba based program so let's kelsey here about how much is the improvement as compared to last time so it's about 55 percent improvement and that's something which is when you have just about 2000 records in this table when i have 2 million or 20 million records in my database table this difference is going to be really something which will matter to your business yeah so that's the process that's a scenario this uh, this scenario was uh, was inspired by a question which was asked by one of my student i hope you all have got leverage out from this scenario in this sequence of videos and you'll be able to write emdp in the right way now with that thank you so much once again for watching this please like share subscribe this video if you enjoyed it feel free to subscribe our training on anubotrainings.com and i will see you in in more videos like this have a nice day goodbye